so much for this amazing live. Thank you. I was saying that this is one of the most amazing live we've heard on Circle, and I'm happy that oh, this, thank you very much. That is the last one of 2018. So so happy to have you tonight. Okay. I have to say it's a really nice venue. A bit cold, right? Yeah. Yes, but. I mean, the atmosphere was still great. I have to say, it's really nice. Yes. So, and good job that you are choosing all those nice venues. I have to hand it to you. Really nice job. Thank you very much. Yeah. I know that you are really into nature and also venues because I watched your Instagram. Um, this is an important part of your life, right? Yeah, definitely. Is it like you are... I think it's the most asked question on the live. Is it one of your most like, source of inspiration? Inspiration or where do, does your inspiration I mean, come from? Inspiration for me always comes from everything you experience in life. Nature, city, good, bad, love, hate, whatever. But uh, I mean, I grew up in the nature. I didn't grow up in the city. So I think nature is a big part of me. So I think that's also a very big part of my inspiration in general. Yeah. And um, also I, I wanted to... Our last album, which is really contemplative, like really down tempo, yeah. not, not the same music that you played tonight, of <laughs> <No>. course. <laughs> um, but um, why was it so important for you to come back? Like, I feel like to the roots of classical music. Um, I didn't, ha I didn't have an intention behind the idea of making this kind of album. Uh, just I started doing beats with classical instruments, like down tempo beats. Yeah, some and kind then, of hip hop sometimes. Yeah, a little bit of downbeat hip yeah. hop stuff inside, and I just liked it. And I just felt like continuing doing more tracks like that. And then suddenly I was like, okay, I have 10, 11, 12 tracks. Why not putting out an album like, th like this? You know, like it's. Of course, it's not techno, of course, people maybe expect techno, but it's just a small part in my portfolio of like albums and also many albums to come. I already finished my album for next year, 2019. You finished it? Yeah, it's coming in 2019 in, in, in fall. And yeah, it's like it's a part of the process. Nice. So that, that was one of the questions. Would, <laughs> would, will you have an album in 2019? So yes. Yeah. Um, uh, so I'm watching at all the question question from Lewis. Can we expect a, a record date all night long in 2019? All night long live? Yes. <laughs> really difficult, right? Okay. Depends how long the night is. Um, If I it's one hour, yes. The longest live set I ever did was close to three hours. That's a lot, yeah. Yeah. It was like 2.45. And, and how was it to play during... Yeah, it was great, but everything has to fit perfect. Yes. Like the sound, the people, the atmosphere, the location, my mood, everything. And then I can do a long set. Usually two hours is okay, but all night long, that's hard. But maybe I can do it in a back-to-back. -back. Yes. Play live, back-to-back. -back. I do a lot with Markus Wargul now. Yes. Also, uh, next year I will play a lot of back-to-back -back sets with him. Maybe in this way could be possible, but who knows. Okay. Back -back long, all night is a long time. Yeah, it's, it's a it long time. can be eight hours, nine hours. <laughs> exactly. Um, yes, so you, you don't play a lot in front of cameras. Uh, yeah. how, do, how did you prepare this special set? Uh, to be honest, the travel to come here today was not easy. Yeah, we were <laughs> I mean, scared. it was supposed to be easy. We had a nice easy chat connection to come to Paris and then drive to, to Bernay. But uh, it wasn't that easy because the flight was really delayed. And, also, then we came into the rush hour traffic in Paris, so it took a lot, it took a lot of so time. Stressful, yeah. Yeah, um, but it gave me a lot of time to prepare the set. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, okay, I might as well use the time useful. And then I just was playing around with some ideas. For example, the first track of the set today is from my new album. I didn't plan to include it, but then in the car I was like. Why not make an intro like that? The intro very was new amazing. Track. And also because of the location with the... It's gothic style, right? A yes. little bit, yeah. And I was like, I don't know, I feel like it's fitting somehow. And yeah, in the end, the delay was also good. 
yeah, yeah, the, the intro yeah. was like, and with the with the video, it looked really amazing. People really yeah, loved it. I'm glad. <laughs> um, yeah. So yes, there is an album. Uh, question from Sebastian, kind of difficult question. How much time do you spend on making a single track? Um, it can be. I mean. One track has for me different steps. I can have a track which I do in half an hour and I feel like, okay, that's a track. It's already almost done. But then the process of mixing it, fixing some small things after playing it for the first time takes maybe two, three weeks. Then again, I make a loop. Two years ago, I find it on my laptop And I think, okay, actually, it's a pretty good loop. So I start doing it, I finish it in two hours. So actually, the time that the track took was two hours, maybe. Yeah. Uh, two years, maybe. Yeah. Because I started it two years ago, and then I finished it two years later in two hours. So it's hard to tell how long I need for a track. If I'm in a really good mood, I can make a track in one hour. Yeah. But it's hard to tell that it's it's not possible to say that it's always like that yeah. and do you produce uh, during the day or at night both both, both? Yeah, yeah yeah that's how how it comes you know in the yeah. airplane at home in a car uh, at at the at the hotel room in a festival just before the gig i you know yeah, you I, don't need to have like a special uh, set setup no, like i tried i i used to have it Yes. But I tried not to be dependent on that. Yeah. Because also with the lifestyle of touring, traveling everywhere, it's for me personally important that I can make music whenever I want. Because the good stuff I realized happens when I have the feeling that I want to make music. If I have the feeling that I have to make music, usually it's not good stuff. I see. Okay. And. Um, <clears throat> I think just one last question. Uh, what is your advice to the new producer struggling? <laughs> I mean, uh, the best advice that I have is at the beginning when I started making music, um, I had like, of course, I had influences. I had music and artists that I looked up to. But I still knew that it's very important to, to have an individual style because um, otherwise nobody's gonna take gonna respect you yeah uh, if you don't come up with your individual style because it's gonna be very hard for you to um, to be to develop because people are not gonna realize okay this is actually his own sound or her own sound it's great you know yeah. so um, I, I would say the most important thing is to wait and to work so long that you find your individual atmosphere in the music and then it's gonna work because if you if it's your own thing that nobody else can really copy even if it's just small nuances uh, it's gonna it's gonna be something special okay well thank you very much for yeah, thank We... you thank you for your great job <laughs> no. with the live streams and the nice locations that you find thank you very much and the best artists <laughs> And, and also, uh, we have a, a little tradition at Circle. It's the, a little gift we offer uh, to, uh, to the artists we invite. And here is the gift. Uh, it's a real key. You can oh, really wow. enter here. In it's this the key abbey. to the city of Circle. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you can consider here as your home. And um, this is uh, Ludovic Ben Mokhtar. Which Thank you very is, uh, much. I appreciate it. The, the person that uh, accepted to do this show here. Uh, at okay. Bernay that, uh, that is offering this to you. Wow. So yeah. Yeah, I can imagine it's not so easy to to, to make a show here. No. <laughs> yeah. it's, not, it's the first time. Yeah. Yes. Wow. So, so it's, it's I really I appreciate crazy. it a lot. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, uh, see you soon. And, and uh, see you soon, guys. We'll see you in, in 2019. Thank you for Thank watching. You. you are amazing. A lot of comments and love and support for Recondit, for Circle. So thank you so much. And uh, thank you to our partners. They will come up on the screen. And uh, we'll see you next year. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, mate.